Good morning, day 141, and I'm at the cabin, and look at my eyes. They're so puffy. I'm a mess. <laughs> Today I part ways with Lightning and Papa Bear, and it's the right thing to do. You know, I noticed, yeah, it, I've been feeling it in my heart, and I knew I had to do it. I just was dreading it and didn't want to do it. <laughs> Why does it take me so long to figure out what to do, what's the right thing to do? But, um, I guess it was... The day before yesterday, when they were waiting me, for me at the shelter and all their bags were still packed up, they normally would have set up things, but set up their sleeping pads, but they didn't. So they were hoping to move on. And because I took my time getting to the shelter, I thought it was the goal. It was a tentative goal for them. They would have moved on. And I didn't... I caused them not to be able to, and that's not the first time I've held them back. And they make goals and plans, and they always have to take me into account, like, what I can do. So, they deserve to be able to hike their own hike. So, I'm in Maine, and it's time for new... New... New beginnings, I guess. <laughs> so, I'll be okay. I did all my shakedown hiking before I went on this trip over three, 400 miles by myself, mostly. And uh, I can hike by myself. I can camp by myself. I can do this. I just don't prefer it. So hopefully my puffy eyes can go down. You can see I have puffy feet. My feet are so puffy and swollen. Hopefully my knees can improve. My knees are puffy and swollen. I'm just a big mess, physically and emotionally. So I'm gonna catch up on my other videos. Sadly at this cabin and I only have one bar on AT&T so I still can't talk to people unless I do FaceTime audio or video because there's Wi-Fi. All right, talk to you later. Wow, yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you. You can help me by taking the ceramic off. Hey again, so this morning uh, we had a delightful breakfast, awesome breakfast, so filling. In fact, I got some leftovers. I made, there were two pan, I took two pancakes, put peanut butter between it, so I made like a pancake cookie with peanut butter <laughs> for my lunch today, because I'm staying here, zeroing here. So here's where I am. This is my bed. Got my resupply here. I went to the store and got resupply food. And I'm going to put it in this bag. There's four bags there. I take three days resupply and a little bit extra in case I would get stuck out there an extra day. So getting that ready. I am planning, I think, to do a slack pack tomorrow. Ten miles. It costs more because I'm going to have to pay for shuttle out and back. But and another night to stay here. But I think it's good for my legs if I take that extra time to slow down. And um, just... Yeah, it feels like the right thing today to take the zero uh, at the store. I rode in the shuttle with Lightning and Papa Bear back to the trailhead. They wanted to stop at the store on the way. And I didn't get my resupply done yesterday because it was after dinner we were going to go. And I was shot. And since I knew I was staying here tomorrow or today now, I said I could go today. So I said I'd ride along with them. And they could drop me at the store and pick me up on the way back. After dropping them off at the trailhead. So at the store. Papa Bear gave me a hug. And said he doesn't do well with goodbyes. And that was very kind. Gonna miss him. And Lightning has been like. My father figure the whole time. Always looking out for me. He said when we met. He's like. Uh, early on mile. Before mile 500. Rowan Mountain High Shelter. Wherever that was. Mile number. It's when we first met. And he took me under his wings. And he heard my story, and he been a great friend. And he said he'd get me home to PA. <laughs> that was his goal. He said that he thinks God put us together on purpose to get me home to PA. And then I got home to PA. And Papa Bear, we found him right around the PA border. And I had to do some, I had some obligations in Pennsylvania. So, uh, I'm not sure they really thought that I would get back on trail. I guess originally maybe thought that's how far I was going. But uh, I was continuing on. 
after that, and I just jumped up where they were, knowing I'd had to make up a few days of hiking before the end of the calendar year, but or the end of the year. Anyway, he didn't bargain for me tagging along these extra months, and I did everything in my power not to hold them back, you know, pushing and doing what they could do and making it. Mostly, I think I didn't infect their hike, but the more and more as we got up here in the harder miles, the more and more I realized that I was holding them back from hiking their own hike. So anyway, that's why the decision was made. And Lightning took me up in his arms, gave me a big bear hug, and <laughs> spun me around, and he'll be my family forever. And Jeannie, too. They've been very supportive and kind as I've been cra- going through crazy stuff, processing in crazy ways things going on in my life. But anyway, I think it's the right thing. So one day at a time. And best wishes, Lightning and Papa Bear. I'm sure you'll successfully make it to Katahdin. Big hugs. By the way, I figured you might want to know what's in my resupply this time. I mean, I had some stuff already, like almost a full day of food. So I just really only needed two more. But here's what I got for 30 something dollars. Two bags of these chips. I'll make them into two or three servings. It's, it's like half air, you know. And they got a sugar cookie. Figure that could be calories for lunch or something. Must probably be 400 calories. That's my guess. I uh, like these for lunch. Because it's like 460 calories. So I got two of those. I used to do mini donuts for breakfast. I got tired of them, but they're light and they're a lot of calories. So I went back to them. Seemed like the other things were giving me sick stomach in the morning. I mean, I'm sure all this food isn't, all of it's not good for me. Maybe the peanuts, but they got sugar on them. And these are my power bars up. See, look at this. 169. It's a small version of Payday 2. I had the big versions. These are, then I got M&Ms. These are my treats at the end of the day. Sadly, my time of the month coming. That makes it extra weight. And these are my, I like the, the gummy ones as I've shown you before, but these are be something to look forward to to get me up a big climb here or there so that's like thirty dollars thirty something and you know get me to rangely hopefully i guess i should clarify i actually have rehydrated meals in there so i actually have three rehydrated meals that's my go-to for dinner so that's why i don't have any dinner foods i mean there's a backup emergency ramen back there which I don't really like at all, but anyway. So I do have some Slim Jims in there. So I didn't get any more of those. I just don't like them. So guys, just uh, catching up my video, sitting out here, relaxing, letting my knees recuperate. And yeah, it's a nice break. Apparently we're gonna have a full house. 11 hikers coming in today, or Rabbit and Chewy actually got here. Chewie's flying home. Rabbit is moving on 20 miles tomorrow. I think I'm slacking 10. So, yeah, everyone has their journey and their hike. It's hike your own hike. hi yo. All right, everybody. So, day 141, and this is going to be a full house, apparently. Right? I don't know where the other people are, but Chewie, Sprite, right, uh, oh, preparing fallout. for this. Fallout, yes. The other fallout. Trout Lillian, not that Trout one. Lily, not <laughs> Rabbit. <Hi. laughs> and in case, if in case any of you don't realize, there are loner clothes often at a hostel. So check out these unique choices here: men's briefs, women's everything but underwear, women's underwear, lounge pants, other. In fact, someone's out there wearing overalls. <laughs> like, there's some cool stuff you could wear. Some cool fashion attire. I carry my own town clothes, so when I do my wash, I have something to wear. But because 
if you stay at a hotel, they don't have loaner clothes. But this is what often hostels have for you. All right. Talking to my phone again. So they got me, thank you, Rabbit, got me this Moxie at the grocery store so I could try this main soda. Unique flavor. It's not bad. I'll take a little.